Remember, the key, the key to the whole thing is the scientific control of life force in the body. And that scientific control of life force reactivates these cells which are laying down on the job. And they brace up, so to speak, and take care of you. There are one or, other, one or two other things, like certain uh, yogic practices whereby the use of cold is used through the nervous system, and that is so, so effective and penetrating that it will follow up every nerve in your body throughout the little nerves, poking those somatic cells, stimulating them, making them once more active. So these things can be done. So much for the metaphysics of you retaining your youth and your vigor. Remember once more, the key is control of life force. So we come to the last and final part of our short discussion. It is this, that the spiritual effect of God communion is the greatest thing to aid you in retaining your youth and vigor. The spiritual aspect is the greatest. And if you have, if you can, have God realization, if you get God contact, that's the greatest thing. That's the greatest thing to direct and control the life force to keep you young, to keep you vigorous. So the spiritual aspect, of course, is the greatest. Now, God does listen to the humble devotee. That's why the spiritual aspect is the greatest if you can contact God and have the faith. But you have to get that contact. Just praying won't do it. You have to have the contact with God. And this is the important thing. God does listen to his humble contrite devotee, and if you ask him to give you a youthful body, keep you young, keep you vigorous, he will do it, without question of a doubt. But you have to conform to the spiritual law of God contact and faith, and as it says in the Bible, nor be ye of doubtful mind. That's the thing. So God contact is the greatest thing. He does listen to his humble devotees, he listened to the masters, Master Shir Tesraji, through Larry Marsha when he was very thin and made him plump. He listened to the master, through his master, when he had cholera and such similar things, and they disappeared. And for personal experience, I used to be very thin and skinny. Master says, you'll be all right later. God listened, and now I'm not too bad. I have hard work to get... <laughs> the other way. Keep from getting the other way. Why? I'll tell you in a minute. Because if you have God contact, if you live in harmony with God, then all the functions of the body operate good. They operate fine. And your food, your food is assimilated at a very high level. That's why you have to be careful. The food is picked up and used because there's nothing to interfere you have the presence of God see that's the greatest thing there, if you have that harmony with God food digest well assimilation is on a high level and the elimination is proper that's the important thing that's just as important as eating good food and assimilating is to get rid of what you don't want there and what you don't need so if we if we do these things, especially keep God contact, the spiritual aspect is the greatest. And finally, uh, this is important. Although it takes time, although it takes a little time, contact with the high voltage of the Holy Ghost within you will absolutely change all the cells of your body. And you will radiate the presence of God within you as the Holy Ghost. In order to profit from these practical teachings in a meaningful way, which will have a definite and tangible impact in your life, 
we suggest that you subscribe to the Self-Realization Fellowship's Home Study Course on the Science of Yoga. Please visit the SRF on the web at yogananda-srf.org or call the SRF's Mother Center in Los Angeles, California at 323-225-2471.